Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at Wakanda Forever Okoye from the new Atuma Wave. Now, again, box is beat up. I'll show you that as we go along. As you can see here on the front, nice picture of Okoye. Picture in the back. Picture again. A little Black Panther symbol on the front. Accessories there, there, and Atuma's head. Picture on the side, of course. Now... I do want to show you the box being opened here because I'm going to talk about Hasbro. So if I can just that. Come on. I don't even care. I'm sorry, it's facing me. Yeah, that. I feel like these like accessories and stuff are going to be super easy to steal since they just set right right here on the edge of the box if that makes any sense so let's just get the box out of the way now we don't need it um but yeah i'm gonna try not to make too much noise with it i feel like if you just wanted to build a figure parts you could walk into a walmart quickly cut it open it up pull it out the side and then shut it back up so always always make sure that the tape here i'll pull out the right next week's Always make sure the tape looks like this. If it doesn't look sealed, don't even consider the buying. Yeah, did mine come up there a little, but that was from me. It's been a long ride getting this home. Always, always look at that. That is going to be the most important thing with these sealed boxes that no one wants. Okay, and here we have Okoye out of the box. Now, I haven't gotten to play with the figure much because I'm just going about this as I record. But so far, it looks like a great figure. It seems like it's going to be an amazing one. And the accessories are much better than the old ones that came with the Dora Milaje figure. Just the army builder from the Infinity War um, what am I trying to, wave that had the... Oh, crap. Just smacked my camera. Gosh dang it. That this Black Panther figure is based on. But it is... It is really nice. She holds the accessories well. And it wasn't that much of a hassle to slip in. So... That is always great to see with Marvel Legends. Especially. Especially ones like this that require a lot of accessories. Now... When it comes to articulation on this figure... Okoye will look up that far... She'll look down that far. She can't quite get a T-pose going, but doesn't matter. Bicep swivel. I I am always, always ecstatic to see that because we haven't had female figures with that for... Oh, crap. Looks like there was some paint rub there when I did that. Dang it. Uh, double jointed elbows. Oh my gosh, I am still so happy to see that on this figure. Which, to me, that alone makes it a must-have compared to the old one. It's just the double-jointed elbows. Let's see if we can get the head back. Okay. Nice little, like, diaphragm swivel here. Normal with all the female figures. Legs actually kick up pretty far. Both of them do. Um, they do swivel at the top. Double-jointed knees that are just a hassle because of the, because of that. No other movement. Feet move up and down and have ankle pivot. <laughs> Anyways, so when it comes to detailing on the figure, this is one of my favorite parts of it because I love these figures with how detailed they can get. It's really shiny. There we go. I do really like the detailing, especially on the suit. Looks really nice, but I kind of wish they would have, like, outlined this in black or something, or whatever the color is supposed to be, so it pops a bit more. But that's just a minor complaint. I love how vibrant the figure is now. Especially with this new Black Panther line. These all seem to be a bit brighter, so that is awesome to see. Comes to the height of the figure. Okoye here comes in at just... Just shy of six inches tall. Which... It's nice to see. I'm pretty sure that's about accurate. Now here we have the Dora Milaje figure from the Infinity War wave. And she stands... 
I want to say about the same height. She looks to be just a little bit taller. And of course we have Black Panther. If he will want to stand. Right there. And of course he is taller, but that's to be expected, right? Also, because I just happened to have her out of the box this week. Um, we have... Ah, crap. Then went the figure. Shuri. Now, this isn't the new one. I don't plan on picking that up. But you can see she's a little shorter, which fits. Let's center her a bit better. There we go. Now, I do have to say, I really enjoy this figure. It's a fun one to play around with, especially with the double-jointed elbows. You're going to hear me gush a lot about this the more we see it, so just be ready for that. Because I cannot lie about how disappointing it was trying to get a cool pose with just single-jointed elbows on these figures. Not to mention, it's pinless, which is also extremely nice to see. We love to see it. Oh, Happen to find this, but the necklace also moves, so if you need to flip it around for a cool picture or something, you can do that. I'm going to leave it like it is, though. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the review. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you can take the time. I hope you can. And with that being said, I'll, I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.